Okay, now that we've got the center line uh, marked on the bottom, you can go ahead and flip it back over and uh, start cutting out the wing. Um, I put the cutting mat down on the table so I don't cut it up. It's a good idea to have one. Um, you just want to go ahead and take the straight edge. You're going to line it up on the line. Uh, get the box cutter. Make sure that you have a nice sharp edge. I always like to flip it over and start with the new blade. Um, EVP foam is a little spongy, so it's a little tougher to cut than uh, Dipron. Um, I found the best technique is to kind of saw through it instead of trying to cut through it. Um, you're going to want to go through it in multiple passes. Um, you want to kind of go in an up and down motion and cut along the line using the straight edge. And make sure you're holding the blade 90 degrees square to the foam so that you're not getting an angle cut. And take your time. And if you just keep going up and down and keep it up against the straight edge, should come out with a nice straight cut. Just make sure to hold the straight edge down nice and tight so it doesn't wander on you. Alright, that first pass goes all the way to the bottom but it doesn't cut all the way through. The second pass you just slide the blade By the third time, hopefully you should be all the way through. Okay. Then just work your way around the wing. And line up the straight edge on the line and just do it the same way all the way around sawing up and down and then cutting you want to make sure that's right on the line Make sure you keep pressure down on the straight edge so it doesn't move on you. Um, because the foam is a lot thicker, it is a little easier to make mistakes. So you want to make sure to hold the straight edge as tight as you can while you're cutting through it. Again, just keep working your way around. Take your time. Try and get nice straight cuts. And 
And if it is just a little bit crooked, it's okay because we are going to have to bevel all of the edges because of the thickness of the foam. So don't worry about it too much if it doesn't come out 100% straight. Cut more halfway through the wing. One more cuts and we'll be through cutting out the basic shape of the wing. Okay, one more cut to go. Alright, there's our basic uh, wing core.